So welcome to the garage. Welcome to my experiment. So what this garage looked like about five days ago was nothing like this. Essentially I had these boxes stacked going all the way across, no longer. First, thank you Nicole for helping me, but we painted the interior of this all white. Makes it pop way more than it did before. The plan is to paint this all black. Why? Because I want to paint a giant Wu-Tang symbol in the middle of this. This is gonna be my gym. Because there might be a little something going on called COVID-19, AKA coronavirus. I need to work out. I need more than what I've been able to do in the house, which is the same five things over and over and over. It just gets really repetitive. I need a gym. The gyms are closed. It's safer to do it here. So I'm trying to turn this garage into a little personal gym. It's in the alley. That part sucks. The inevitabilities are the transients walking by. The trash cans are right around the corner over here and over there. There's gonna be mice. There's gonna be roaches. There's gonna be flies. I'm gonna have to do with that. There's a game plan. I actually bought these to help with mice. It's called Rodent Repeller Pet Chaser. You plug it in and supposedly it's supposed to repel rodents. Another thing I'm gonna do, setting up outlets throughout here so that we can get ideal lighting, so I can get a speaker in here and the fans. I ordered recently a bench set with the incline decline option. Also, I believe it has the curling option. Um, the way I see it is I'll be able to collapse it and slide it under here and it'll still allow me to get my Jeep in here because the Jeep fills up this whole garage. Am I 100% confident that it's gonna fit in here? No, we're gonna make it work. Since this is experimental, we're just gonna start with this small little spot here. And here we go. We're rolling with it. Let's do it. One thing I do need to do first is to touch up the edges. That way I don't completely f up what we did yesterday. The trim has been completed. Round one of paint is completed. Um, I think it's gonna be really good. This is looking pretty good. Even if I leave it just like this, it looks better already. Tomorrow we'll do paint number two. And then sometime in the next couple days, we are throwing a giant Wu-Tang logo on there. Day number two. All right, we're about to see what it looks like with one layer of paint. So far, this is what we got. Not too shabby. Looks really good over here. I'm getting my footprints all over it, but who cares? Today we lay down another layer, then we'll slide all this stuff over to one side and do one layer and then maybe tonight slap on another layer. So I am 
up on the final coat for down the middle. It looks way better than it did before, minus my footprints everywhere. I think it's gonna work out. So now that it's dried, while we have the garage the way it is, it's time to put up the posters and give this, uh, this room a little bit of life. So while I was in the garage putting up the posters, I got my first package of something very important for the gym. So let's open this. M oh, oh. Oh, what is this, monkey? What is it, huh? Can you help me open it up? Wow, look at this packaging. And here it is. It's a doggy on there. 55 pound mutt bar. I found this thing on Instagram. It's called a mutt bar. Some much needed new equipment for home workouts. It actually didn't take that long to get here. It was probably, it was like, I think like $130. All right, you can stop looking at me. But it is definitely much needed, not just for the new gym I'm trying to make, in the garage, but just in general. <sighs> yes, something to do curls. Since I haven't done curls with something like this in so long, this thing feels so heavy. This, oh, this is so much better. Oh, this is awesome. I like that. It lets me do tricep stuff. This thing says 55 pounds, but it feels heavier than that. This is so needed, it's ridiculous. An issue we're gonna deal with today, there's all this copper piping up here that has the pool noodle. And I bought a couple of the blue ones because I thought maybe that's the way to, I'll just tr trade them out and it'll look nicer. But, 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 what I think I'm gonna do instead is wrap it with white duct tape and the white might make it look a little bit nicer. This is what we got so far. It doesn't look amazing or anything, but it is covering up the ugly brown pipes. And I am gonna do some string lights on it, so I think we're gonna make it look good. All right, back for another day of this. All right, first things first. What we're gonna do is gonna finish doing the rest of that before I even get started on that. I bought. some garage door bottom seal. Hopefully, this will take care of the problem of stuff blowing in from the alley. All the dust, all the dirt, all the trash that comes from over there, those mother I'm hoping to attach that right on here. Is it gonna go smoothly? Definitely not. We're gonna give it a shot. It gives me a lot of screws. Good news, bad news. The good news is, it was actually pretty easy to get on there. It's on there now. The bad news is, I don't know if it's totally long enough or not. It's really good on this side. 
but this side and it's not this thing's fault it's actually the garage door that's naturally kind of slanted like that so that coverage is good on that side which is the coverage we want since it's closest to the trash can so that should certainly help Just like that, we have a fan. Should help it keep it nice and cool. Should help get any of the bad smells out of here. Since nothing ever goes smoothly, so I'm re-cleaning the floor here. Just using regular old soap. And we are running into a big time problem right now. This paint is doing this. And that we may have to go back to the drawing board on the whole f floor shit so that you can see how much this sucks why why can't anything ever go smoothly ever back for another day of uh garage remodeling as i pointed out yesterday here and it, a couple spots over there. The rest looks to be like it's all right, which leads me to believe that they're just spots that have simply over the years have had so much stuff leak out of my car before that, whoever had their car in here, that the paint didn't want to stay. So what we're gonna do is another layer of black paint and hopefully that helps it keep. If it doesn't, the game plan may be to just put the Wu logo here, the Wu logo here, and the Wu logo here and try to make it look somewhat creative. As the plan goes, I am still doing the Wu-Tang logo in the middle of the floor, in the garage. This is the logo I'm putting on there. This is pretty much a perfect size. How do I get this on the ground without having to cut this? I get the uh, solution. Get off. This guy's not gonna make it any easier. So what I'm gonna do is get two slabs of this, put them together, and trace over it on here. And then I'll transfer this onto some cardboard paper that I got. Little scotch tape. Nothing ever does. So far, it looks okay, but not great. Maybe I should have just gone with regular paint, but you can already tell right here where it's gonna be waking up. All right, so where I was having the issue before with the other paint, I'm having that same sort of issue right now. It doesn't look good. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Things that make you go, hmm. Good. Look at that shit. It's too bad that that part in there is like that because the other side looks good. And I think it looks good on the black. But I don't know what's gonna happen here. That has me a little nervous. I will get in here with some black paint and just kind of do the edges to make it look a little more crisp. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry up um, for a few hours, and I'm gonna decide if, uh, if I'm gonna keep going along here with more woos or what I'm gonna do. It's all gonna depend on this bad rabbit right here. It's just this little spot right here.
All right, so as the first one has dried up, there's still obviously this problem area here, but the rest, the rest of it looks good. It actually even feels pretty good on there. Maybe in the end, I just end up putting some sort of a rug here or something because of that, but I'm gonna continue with some Wu logos going that way. Well, there we have it for now. Um, of course, there's a lot of touching up that needs to be done. A couple of spots where it just, there must be so much oil on the ground that it's not taken. But the spots where it did take, it looks really good. I guess I'm decently happy with it. For now, we got what we want. Next step will be to do the lighting up here. But for now, I cannot breathe in here, so I gotta get out of here. So, this is looking really good in my eyes it's looking really really good now i'm going to set up the lighting set it up along here so i can do the hipster string lights these right here some cafe string lights they were only like 18 dollars at um at home depot Make it feel like a ballpark. Right now I'm gonna touch up around the Wu-Tang logos and hope I don't f it up. Chances are I'll f it up. So now there's just a few steps left in the man cave slash gym. A uh, couple touches I did was the mask wall. We got our Star Wars section over here. Predator, Wolverine, Batman. Now we do the unveiling. I still want to do something with the top of this so that when I take the titties out on the Jeep, I can just put the top on here. The gym equipment, that's uh, been put on back order, so I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> you think you are. <laughs>
right, so that punching bag just didn't work out. Why? Because nothing ever works out. But this is the finished product of the gym. We ended up switching out the punching bag and using this one instead, where you just put sand in the base and it has worked out way better because the other one didn't allow me to park the Jeep in here at the same time and it was too much of a pain in the ass to get it underneath. So that's her, the finished product. I have a gym. I now have my own gym. This was a shitty little garage. Now it's something I can use. It's something I will use. And because the pandemic is still going on, we're on month number nine. It appears I'll be able to use this a uh, lot more than I thought I would. Gyms ain't opening up for a while. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know you want to stick a thumb up my ass, so I'll click that little button and stick a thumb up my ass. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. It just so happens as I'm making this, Wu-Tang Clan made a little pop-up shop in Hollywood. So, I'll leave you with footage of it.